Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the endocrine system. You should then be able to identify the position of different endocrine glands in the human body. And finally you should be able to describe the role of the pituitary gland in the endocrine system. In a previous video we looked at the role of the nervous system. We saw that electrical impulses pass down neurons, for example from a receptor to the central nervous system. Now a key feature of the nervous system is that it's extremely fast. However, the effects of the nervous system tend to be very short-lived. So in this video, we're looking at how the body is controlled by chemicals called hormones. Scientists call this the endocrine system. The endocrine system consists of a number of glands, and these glands secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream. The blood carries the hormones all around the body but each hormone only acts on specific target organs, where it produces an effect. So if we compare the endocrine system with the nervous system, we can see a number of key differences. Firstly, the nervous system uses electrical impulses which travel down neurons. However, the endocrine system uses hormones which are chemicals, and these are carried in the bloodstream. Secondly, whereas signaling in the nervous system is extremely fast, the endocrine system tends to produce a much slower effect, and the effect is more long-lasting. Okay, I'm showing you here the key glands in the endocrine system, and it's important that you learn this. In the exam, you could be asked to identify the location of any of these glands, and I should point out that we'll be looking at the functions of these glands in later videos. We've already looked at the pancreas in the topic on digestion. However, the pancreas also releases hormones, and these are involved in controlling the concentration of glucose in the blood. The ovaries and the testes release hormones involved in puberty and in reproduction. The thyroid gland produces hormones which are involved in growth and in regulating the body's basal metabolic rate, in other words how rapidly the body's reactions take place. The adrenal glands release the hormone adrenaline, which is produced in times of fear or stress. And finally, the pituitary gland is located in the brain. Now, the pituitary gland is extremely important. In fact, scientists call the pituitary gland a master gland. The pituitary gland releases a number of different hormones into the blood, depending on the conditions. Now, the key point about pituitary hormones is that they act on other glands, and they cause other hormones to be released. So, by acting on other glands, the pituitary hormones can trigger a range of different effects in the body. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the endocrine system in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.